With a number of competitors having already launched 5G phones, Apple finally got into the game. Introducing iPhone 12. Apple launched four new iPhones, including the iPhone 12, the iPhone 12 mini, and the larger iPhone 12 Max and iPhone 12 Max Pro. The one surprise I will say specifically on 5G was the fact that all four of them, uh, in the U.S. at least, are going to support all types of 5G service. That includes support for lower and mid-speed 5G bands that aren't as fast but have greater coverage. Wireless carrier Verizon appeared on stage to showcase how the iPhone 12 could run on its millimeter wave 5G system, providing the fastest speeds in the country. Verizon, yes, has millimeter wave, but so, by the way, do AT&T and T-Mobile. They just don't have it in as many places. But even though Verizon has it, it's still extraordinarily limited. You know, they talked about adding new cities, but really, it's only a few blocks in certain cities. More than 99% of people who have Verizon don't have access to millimeter wave service. The iPhone 12 and iPhone 12 mini start at $800 and $600, respectively, while the Pro and Pro Max begin at $1,000 and $1,100. They make some major advancements in photography and videography. That includes incorporating something Apple calls Deep Fusion, which uses machine learning for pixel-by-pixel -pixel processing of photos. They enable powerful computational photography for camera experiences that simply are not possible with traditional cameras. With Deep Fusion, you can even see the detail of her dress in this low light setting. In this classic black and white, you can feel the sun glistening on the horse. The fact that the iPhone 12 Pro and Pro Max can record 10-bit Dolby Vision HDR video, I know it's quite a mouthful, uh, is really impressive because you haven't been able to get that except on extraordinarily high-end devices. Apple revived a technology formerly used with its Mac laptops, MagSafe, which allows devices like wireless charging pads to snap directly to it. All the phones have a ceramic shield, which Apple says improves drop performance by four times. The Pro versions also have a light detection and ranging scanner, or LiDAR. It's a technology commonly used in self-driving cars, but now allows iPhone users to precisely place objects in augmented reality worlds and map and transform 3D environments. Mark New CGTN, Sunnyvale, California.